Hey guys, Ellis here from Mini Model Wars, and today I've got a video video for you on how to paint skin. Um, the first thing that I was um, first thing that I should tell you though is this is for pretty much basic. You know, it's not very um, intermediate. If you guys have been you know painting for a while, this is probably not the best uh, probably not the best um, video for you because this is quite basic, as I said. Um, I realised out in YouTube that there weren't many um, you know painting skin tutorials, which I was a bit weirded about. Uh, I'm not sure if they were under different names, but when I searched, um, you know, skin, painting skin or anything like that, nothing came up, uh, you know, nothing like that came up. So I thought I'd stick a video on. So here is a already made cultist. I'm going to use cultists today, because obviously they have quite a nice lot of skin there. So um, obviously there are loads of different um, different types of skin, different shades of green, uh, skin you can do. I did it from my How to Paint Citadel Miniatures book. There's also a review on that. If you guys are wondering if should if you should uh, buy it or not, I've made a review on uh, um, on that book there. So obviously in this book in particular, I think there's about three or four different um, different kinds of shades of skin. Here I'm using the one for the Lich Priest. Um, so the paint you will need is Screamer Pink, Kislev Flesh. Cadian flesh tone, and then maybe even best bestigor, yeah, bestigor flesh. I've got a couple of other flesh colours here. Oh yeah, sorry, and a shade. Um, it says here to use Reichland flesh shade, but personally I used Leviathan purple, the old flesh, the old um, the old wash that I had. I've got a couple of other paints, maybe some older paints that my dwarf flesh. Talon flesh. Um, I suppose dwarf flesh would be a lot like this. Uh, Kislev, maybe either Kislev flesh or Cadian flesh tone. And then the Talon flesh is maybe a bit more, well, yeah, Talon flesh pretty much exactly the same as Cadian flesh tone. So, um, you know, um, they are exactly the same if you guys still have the old colours. So, um, basically, first thing you do, as I said, is you do the base coat. This is with the Screamer Pink. And this is the result you will go you will get. It's quite dark. You know, it's not um you're not gonna be able to see it very uh, very clearly. And then what I also show you on this one is Leviathan Purple, slop it on there. Doesn't matter, just try and get it obviously. At the moment, if you um, if the rest of your model is still um is still primed black, that doesn't matter about if you get a bit of the shade anywhere else. So uh, next then um, I will do. Um, I'll sh I will um, put on the besting or flesh, and I'll come back to you after that's finished. So, guys, this is after I've painted uh, besting or flesh on. As you can see, I've left some gaps there where the um, the shading might go in, where the biceps might go in, and stuff like that. You know, just all the way around. So it's pretty simple. The fingers as well. If you just do it in with the um, where the shade would would go and not paint there. As you can see here, it's gone from there to there, where they've sort of haven't painted where the shade would go. So you know it's pretty simple at the moment. So this that's the second part, or technically third. But so next then I'm going to paint on some Cadian flesh tone. So guys, this is the model after Cadian flesh tone. In my opinion, there's not much difference, unfortunately. Um, but, you know, it depends really what you guys think. Maybe for a painter's eye, there's loads of difference. But in my opinion, there's not much difference. Um, the only reason that, um, a lot, they, um, they do this a lot, they use the Cajun Flesh Tone is because, if you see here, after this one here, the Bestingo Flesh, they stay then recommend you go into another wash. Um, but in my opinion, um, I didn't, I tried that, I didn't need it. So, um, you know, th this is just a bit of a quicker option. Um, so, you know, even if you don't even want to get Cajun Flesh Tone, it doesn't make much difference, that would be fine as well. It's still got the, um, the sort of biceps on there, which, uh, which still pop out. Next, then, will be Kislev Flesh, which will really help the, uh, help the, the skin pop out a bit and really show massive contrast between the Screamer Pink and then the Kislev Flesh. So then, guys, that was Kislev Flesh. Again, there's not too much difference, but it does show a massive, uh, a massive, you know, difference between 
the Shikuma Pink and the um, and the higher the higher areas. That's where you got to pretty much just show with flesh is what is shaded or what is um, what is sort of the muscly parts. Because obviously, um, pretty much anyone in the forty k universe um, these days have massive biceps. So um, you know you're not really gonna have apart from obviously maybe Nurgle guys or sort of Jabba the Hutt looking guys. But apart from that, you know you're not gonna get many uh, fat people. <laughs> Um, so obviously then the um, and the wrinkles maybe in the skin stuff like that really sh pop out using the Kislev flesh and then um, yeah so that's pretty much it if you want to use some some washes I wouldn't recommend doing it at this stage the only um, the only place I'd recommend doing the washes would be um, in between best bestigor flesh. And Cajun flesh tone, so you could put maybe another different purple, a different uh, purple um, tone on there, or maybe like a black, um, a black wash. But personally, I don't because I quite like mine, um, you know, quite uh, quite light like this. So, guys, thanks very much for watching. Um, obviously, the finished product will vary with your model. If you got, if you're painting chaos cultists, then you know, perfect. But um, you know, the uh, the finished product will vary. With uh, from model to model and from uh, from kind of limb to limb, this guy I need to, only need to paint the the face maybe, um, or some the back of his legs or something. They, these guys, oh, this, these guys are going to be a challenge. I mean, they've got so many so much skin on them and stuff. That's all skin on the back, and uh, rip down uh, spine. So um, you know um, from you know from model to model, obviously you will vary, but the same technique goes for everything. Um, as I said, so um, you can also do the thing with orcs. With orcs, you can just change the the colours. Um, and basically, um, you know, even if even if you only do here, I've only I'm only doing hands. If you can see there, I'm only painting the hands, but it still helps. It still has an amazing effect. And then for the for the tabletop, as I said, this is only um, maybe tabletop standards. It's not um, amazing. It's not. Um, it's not, um, you know, golden demon standard, but it is good enough, in my opinion, for the tabletop. So, um, you know, just to um, just to show your your opponents that you can, um, you know, you're not just a gamer, you're also a painter as well. Um, that's um, it for you today then, guys. Hopefully I'll do a video on stuff like uh, maybe um, how to do robes, um, or maybe um, some hair, how to do some hair, because obviously cultists, they also have hair on them. There they are. This guy's also got hair on him. They've got a lot of robes on them. So you know they're very versatile. They're very versatile. You can use pretty much all the techniques in the book for that. That's one of the reasons I'm using cultists. Love cultists. I've got twenty of them from the um, uh, Dark Vengeance, um, and I hopefully want to get more. But anyway, um, please remember to like, subscribe, and um, comment if you if this has helped you out. Then um, obviously give us a comment. If it hasn't, then um, I don't know what to say. But um, you know, um, if you do, if you do feel like you guys wanna, you wanna have um, maybe a different tutorial, on even if you wanna do maybe an orc tutorial, I'll, I suppose I'll give that a go. Um, if you want, um, you know, different colours, or if you want, you know, any tutorial, I'll give it a go. Um, so yeah, please remember to like, subscribe, and comment, and uh, battle on.